dried now <laughs> surprisingly different colour though isn't it a bit lighter which of course it's absolutely throwing it down you know I'm just about to leave for work looking flat tire no I'm tiring for repairs lot this is a better start this is what it should look like they should throw out like that quite easily. This one is just completely seized. I don't know how the guy ran this engine, it's impossible. to take this opportunity to thank everybody for all your well wishing about me not feeling too well i feel great now so thanks thanks a lot people even start raining again we need some rain don't we it's only rained heavy every day for two months <laughs> oh hey Grantham's Bridge. There's no numbers, just names. Great, isn't it, that? Just over this, you wouldn't believe it, but there's underneath here, there's a road. You wouldn't even believe it, would you? You wouldn't even think it. Crikey. What's a lovely little section this is. Last time I came here, they were they were doing this building up, restoring it. I think. And, you no, know, it looks like they've no they've probably given up. Maybe a lot of work though, isn't it? Taking a damp building. This has been done up though. We don't have to get keep the, we don't have to keep the water out from under the floorboards. That's what, that's what I always worry about. Don't worry, you've got to think about. No, not done that up. Hey, okay. oh. Never mind. It amazes me how, how things don't change. I was here a few years ago. Uh, on my earlier vlogs, I was towing a boat this way. It broken down, and I towed him into to a marina. So uh, yeah, but reassuring in some ways. It doesn't change. It stays as it is. I mean, it's don't want to be dry, do I? Anyway, I don't like being dry, you know. The rain, you know. Got its uh, good points. Certain, certain ways. Oh, I can't really smell to a good old working boatyard. Beautiful. Woohoo! Hey. 
Hey, we've got diesel there, look. Hey, diesel. Uh, oh, right. Come along. I was going to get some diesel, but it ended up until 9.30. So, uh, guys at Stratford Marine further up, they, uh, they sell the, the red, the red gold. You know, for the narrow boaters. You know? Like that. Red gold. Hey? Like that. Good, isn't it? That, that name. Red gold? Yeah, red gold is. Narrow boaters. They, uh, they love it, don't they? Hey? Beautiful. Cheerios and things like that. Made up food in the laboratory. I'm going to the bank here. No! Oh, wind's pushing me over. No! Oh no! Oh dear! Oh dear! Mm. Come on! Out of the wind. White beam canal now, look. Posh, eh? Hear them. I knew what they, I knew what they were. But I can't remember now. Um, oh, they sand something. Oh, somebody tell me what they are to, to remind me, please. Thank you. Grabbing me some water from the old Bridgewater Canal. That's right, Rippers. Hello, mate, you're right. Get your boat on camera, look. Bloody locals, eh? We'll end up on the cutting floor, though, Will, won't we? Bloody locals, look. Turning up, eh? Do you want this front row? I'm going now anyway, by about five minutes. Give us a thumbs up, you two. <laughs> Hello, Mimi. Sally. Sally. Hello, Sally. Oh, she's got a lovely little jacket on, look. You're nice and warm, Sally. Yeah. The mud. I know. Where you come, where you come from anyway today? Oh, was you? Yeah. We were bobbing about, as we call it, waiting yeah. for the swing aqueduct to open. What, in? Oh, yeah. Um, You're going that way, aren't you? Yeah. Come here. Did I'm you know going... it's closed? No. Camera. See you on the flip side. Take care. What's your names, by the way? Names? Chan and Tony. Chan and Tony. See you guys. little spot this is, there's a little sandwich bar just here as well, very busy spot. Some people have made it to their home now because they, they've, they've got no, they've got no ranger on this canal now going around checking boats so some people just do what they want. Oh shame isn't it. Because from a really wide section to this really narrow section like a bank embankment type of thing you know. Ooh, what's it called? I don't know. I'll tell you what, it's got a sewage farm there, look. Mmm. Oh, lovely. Amazing how that works, isn't it? It's, they trickle the water through bacteria on the rocks, which which kills all the other bacteria, certain harmful bacteria. Isn't 
holding tanks and they filter through that. Oh, these flies are annoying. This is the worst time for like horse flies and stuff. May plagued by these little gnats on me now. Ugh, I've got to stay in the lot. Make some, make those lovely people. Look how I'm dressed, hey? Look, dirty tramp. He's got some work to do. Hey, isn't it? Right, I'm moored here. I'm ready to do some work on this Twin Perkins cruiser it's domestic power I'm trying to get some lights working and stuff you know oh look it's narrowboat life unlocked bless them hey another aqueduct over a road oh, how lovely narrowboat life unlocked with their pals Firenze I think it is Firenze oh come on look at the film and gee Forensi, I think it is. What zoomed in that? That's it. Oh, I'm all over, sorry. Such a pretty boat, isn't it? It really is. The colours are gorgeous, aren't they? I'm not far now from sail. I'm only about a couple of miles away. Oh, the window and I've picked up. It's mild though, which is nice. Over the past few vlogs, I've been coming up here, um, past the Anderton and all that area, and this time I didn't film Anderton because I filmed it previously, you know. Let's film it again, I know I should. But we wanted to crack on because we thought we're not going to make it up all the way up here and get to the Ribble Link by the 7th of April. I mean, it's now the 15th of March, a couple of weeks. I've moored up round about here somewhere. Is that Attringham? I've got I've got a new map. I'm get it out then. Oh, you know, I, this one will be knackered before I get the other one out. Attringham. I don't know what that is. But yeah, so I'm all around here somewhere, just out on the outskirts of Sale. I'm going to sail in tomorrow. Oh, don't stop it. Oh, it's up for sale. No. Oh, come on. What the other ones are they? Oh, I'm going to sail in. No, come on. It's not, at least not water isn't saline. No, no, oh, cheap, but effective. A lot of people, some boats I've talked to, there's a couple, they're going up here. I'm going to carry on through here, up to Manchester, through Lee. And we're going to turn left, Wigan Pier section here. I'm not going down to the Liverpool, I'm not going down to Liverpool, um, Liverpool docks yet. I'll probably do it on the way back. So I need to get up to that Ribble Link and get up to onto Lancaster. I've got good news about it. I'm looking forward to it. People are nervous about going through Manchester here, look. This area and stuff. But I went up into Manchester itself and never had a problem. A couple of weirdos in the evenings and stuff, but nothing major. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, eh? Oh, no. Oh, oof. Oof! What the f Oh! No. Oof! Did all that. Done it all. Got the, got the t shirt. All that. Got the t shirt, you know? No. Every time I come out the boat, I look up now. Never used to walk around looking up, but now you look up and you see all this action. The birds flying the thermals and doing their dance that they do it's magic isn't it you see this the same in the cities you see this in the cities sometimes massive flocks of pigeons and stuff oh, all these birds coming over there's thousands of them rocks crows Um, 
onward now to sail today. Onward to sail. We sail to sail. Ripith. Quiet little place. Nice paths. Beautiful. Look at the willow. Look at beautiful. In plumage now. Look. I just don't feel it. Just not feeling it. Not feeling the weather at the moment. Ridge number. I don't know. Which has got names, haven't they? Bridge, restricted height. Oh no, Warrington AA, no, that's not it. Bridge, concrete in Archie. Oh, hey. Eh? Sometimes, sometimes they sink boats to preserve them, don't they? You think, no, no, I wouldn't sink it, would they, to preserve it? Oh, hey, eh? never mind. Yeah, oh, always got a shirt, charity shirt on. Like, hey, hello. Oh, baseball out with charity shirt. Nice. Um, let's get to sailor, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm going to uh, look for a parking spot for Mr. Van. I need to change that back wheel, the spare wheel. Put the back spare wheel. Take the spare wheel. I put the new repaired tyre on. Uh, Twenty-five quid. Hey, okay. and then. Um, washing cleaning get back and wait for Leon to turn up because he's working he's going to come he's come with me through Manchester uh, he's away at the moment he's stopping at his sisters he's working up there and he's painting for them and all that kind of stuff so I'm going to go I might meet him tomorrow if I get him a golf I don't know yet it just keeps raining and raining is this the north is this it in the north it just rains and that's it and the sun comes out for a day and that's summer, is that it? <sighs> this is a nice little niche, nice little nook isn't it? I'm only cruising dead slow because I want it to last for an hour, two and a half miles I've got to go it's supposed to stop raining now, but I can feel the rain coming again. Oh, fucking Nora. Heavy rain all last night, heavy rain yesterday. Never mind, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? It's, I feel sorry for people working outside. I feel sorry for people working outside in this every single day, you know? The ground workers and all the people doing tarmacking and road workers, that kind of stuff. Every day they've been sodden and wet. Not very nice. Slabs of marble there, look. Beauty, isn't it? No slabs of marble now. Crikey. Look at that one, looks like wood, doesn't it? That one there. Looks like MDF. That one there, look. Slab of marble. Blimey. I remember this section now. This is the. These monumental look like ships, don't they? These flats. What a beautiful design. Look from the sky. I'm trying to show you a picture. They just look like two boats in dock, don't they? Gorgeous. Oh yeah, our tile place lot. That's the one. So you've got tiles and, and the worktops. Perfect place. I bet it's hubbing its day, wouldn't it? I bet. Well, it's pretty modern. It's just a remake of an old building. Look at that tower there, look okay. wow, on the corner. Oh yeah, they had to keep that, didn't they? It's a grade, grade one listed or something, grade two. So they had to keep it in, you want to keep it, wouldn't you? Look at it, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Old tower, hey, you want to keep that, wouldn't you? Oh, rejuvenating these. Water, it's a pump house or something. Why not? You know, why not? Looks like the ship's coming out into dock, doesn't it? Looming out of the bushes there. As the mighty vessel comes to land. Oh, 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 oh. oh big exaggeration there, isn't it? But I don't, I don't honestly. 
believe that the view is very nice. You're overlooking them, all these factories and warehouses. I mean, it doesn't. Uh, well, it's a beautiful grounds and it looks stunning, but it doesn't really do it for me. The area, you know what I mean? I'm rather looking out over fields. As it comes into view, look, it's stunning, isn't it? It's stunning design. And the grounds are beautiful, but you've just got all this opposite you, you know? Uh, well, each to their own. Penthouse at the top, look, potions at the top, commonings at the bottom. You get robbed at the bottom, can't you? Oh, living in the bottom basement, you get robbed. <laughs> That's the thinking in the flats, wasn't it? You want to get a look at the flats? Oh, and in the bottom, bottom level, get robbed. Oh, magic. You know what kills these places is the maintenance fees. You know, the monthly maintenance fees. We buy a property, you think, oh, it's lovely, isn't it? And they, and they hit you with a £500 a month maintenance fee because they've got to cut the grass. That's about all they're doing it. Cut the grass, and that's about it. Push five hundred pound a month each tenant. Happened to us in Bournemouth, you know. We bought this little flat, and the maintenance fees just went up and up and up. And luckily, we sold. It went from ninety pound a month up to about five hundred a month. It's ridiculous for a little one-bed flat. Beautiful design. I love it. Urgh, lovely. If I remember rightly, if I remember rightly, there was an alleyway here with the moorings, so I can go shopping up. I think this is the Aldi, yeah, the Aldi, yeah, yay, I want to go shopping, I want to pull over, do a bit of shopping, this is precious, and back on with the cruise, look at that, Alfred's, Aldi, yay, it's a shop, let's go Rippers, let's go, Bowling as well. I'm gonna go bowling. TK Max. Ooh, they're all there, and yeah, home base. Wow, what a stop! What's a stop? Okay, I've been shopping. Little alleyway through there. Look, bit of Aldi. Beautiful. Bit of bit of beef dripping, some meatball, venison meatballs. Ooh, there's a lot of fat. I know. Good fat. No. I said park it on the drive, not on the drive into the dro dock. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, look, they put a rope on it, so it's a bit floating away. So I'm just trying to pull it out. High quality painting and decorating, and high quality driving. Isn't it, hey? Oh, well. This is sale. Seems to be a place of of runners. Well, here we are in sale. Great moorings. Lovely little spot this is. Yeah, look at this lot. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, lovely. This two pound journey thing, I think somebody told me in the comments that it, it, it stops this year. Um, I mean, bless the government's art, it's a good way of getting people into the buses because it's absolute bargain. The buses can't make anything from this. They're heavily subsidized by the government. So, but it's a good way of getting people out of their cars, I guess. Next to, next to the boat, it's like a little railway, little tiny gauge railway. Train spotters! I thought I'd imagine that the train comes around here in, in summertime. Fabulous little thing, look at that! A little, tiny little railway. Oh, eh? I just feel like going, oh, it's cute. Oh, I'm trying to sort out my mate's boat for him. Leon's mate's boat, oh, it's a bit of a, bit of a pain. I'm trying to find an auto electrician that can fix the, that can repair the starter motor. Have we lost all semblance of manufacturing in this country? 
Oh well, no, we don't repair them anymore, we just get new ones. What the? That's in India. It costs you about three quid to get that repaired. Okay. Very vibrant place this is. Oh, there's so many runners, there's hundreds of them. It's endlessly running up and down. Don't think they go home, you just take shifts. It's a shift pattern. Tick over land. Uh, shift pattern. One shift takes over and start running again. This is probably the best graveyard I've seen. Commonwealth Moor War graves. Absolutely stunning headstones. Look at this one. James Proctor. 1850, died 1903. Well, this is a beautiful cemetery. Look at that for a headstone. Wow. Absolutely stunning place. Why are you going in grave? Look at that headstone there, lot. What is that? That is just what the work. The cost and the work, you know? Blimey. Absolutely stunning. John Reynolds passed away 26, 1916, age 47. Oh, nothing in it. Rebecca, also his beloved Becca, Rebecca, who died 8th, 1950, age 79. Oh, she lived on, didn't she? Oh, heartbroken, I bet. Absolutely heartbroken. I could be over the moon, I don't know, you know. <laughs> wow, what a place. As far as the eye can see. What's that one? 1951. William Ashton, lovely memory. Age 71, 1922. Blimey. I mean, what would that cost you today? This just this typical one here, look. What would that cost you today? Ten grand or something, wouldn't it? Wow. Jeez, eh? This one was, oh my God, look at this one. Absolutely bloody gorgeous headstone. Uh, sacred to the memory of Mary Fletcher, devoted wife and mother, October 30th, 1870. Uh, January 26th, 1933. So, look at the skills in that. Stunning. 